What's going on everybody? It's Manny Lone Star Gardener. Haven't seen y'all in a little bit. Nothing's really been going on except for all of this new growth. And this video is pretty much gonna be just an update video. I haven't really done too many big projects. Just trying to keep everything growing, keeping everything alive. Oh, I lie, I did work on a project. Check it out. I started working on and made a cinder block cacti and succulent garden. Mm -hmm. So I stole this idea from a neighbor down the street and driving down, I never look in that direction ever, but this time I did and decided, well, <laughs> I need to make one too. So most of these are from a garden center in town, but I think six are from a website called Leaf and Clay. It's a subscription and mail website for succulents and I think some cactuses too. And everything looks good. Everything's been growing. The last thing I put in was maybe about three weeks ago and everything's pretty good. Maybe a month ago for some of the older ones. Not too sure if I should clip those or not, but I need to, actually I don't even know the varieties of any of these really. <laughs> so I need to look that up. But yeah, this is the only project that I've been working on and everything else has just been, just been growing, just been upkeep. Let's go take a little tour and see what's dying <laughs> and see what's growing. All right, first things first. The squash vine borers have been really bad again this year. I thought I had a handle on them, but no. They are not really destroying the pumpkins that much. I mean, you can see the, some damage, but they're still growing, no pumpkins yet. But the zucchinis, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go take a look at the trellis pumpkins but the zucchinis are not doing too well I was able to get a few zucchinis out of some of these these are already dead and this one isn't though I'm surprised this one's a patty pan so maybe they don't like patty pans I don't know but I've already come to the decision that I'm just gonna let them win the squash vine borers can sit out their last little brood and I'm just gonna let them win. I saw them flying around earlier, and I'm just gonna let them, let them do their thing. I usually try to swat them out of the sky, but what the goal is, is what I'm gonna do today, this morning, oh, let me get out of the sun. What I'm gonna do this morning is just pull out all the SVB stricken plants and get them ready to plant other stuff. Um, the trellis plants and the big one right there I'm gonna put in sugar baby watermelons and some black tail watermelons, just some little ones. And the zucchinis, I'm gonna replant the potatoes. Potatoes did really well in the grow bags again this year. I'm just gonna go ahead and replant them, get some more potatoes, they're really good. But the other stuff that isn't dying, <laughs> let's go take a look at it. The watermelon patch <laughs> it is growing really well. So last year I planted three or four different plants. This year in here I think there are seven <laughs> maybe eight only because I forgot where I planted them and then they didn't grow and so I planted transplants put them in and then the ones that I did plant directly started growing so I just let them do it and those actually turned out better than the transplanted ones actually I think all the transplanted ones died so I think there are seven in here around I think on the outside are the sangria and water, watermelonless, seedless yellow watermelons on the outside. And I think down here are some Blacktail Mountain and some Sugar Baby, I think. We're gonna find out <laughs> together. But they're growing really well. I need to move that one that's growing on the strawberry container. But the bees are out flowers are out. I'm just going to control these vines. I'm going to push them up this way. Uh, last year I had one grow all the way up in between uh, one of these plants. I'm going to push it around this way and these right here I'm going to also yeah do them that way. So they're growing really well. I'm really surprised at however how well they're growing. There's a little bit of yellowing, but that's just an older plant. And that one too, that one got squished. I think a cat or a squirrel stepped on it because early, 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 when it was, when there was still ground I could see, <laughs> it was bent 
And so I piled dirt on it, kind of pushed it down a little bit deeper so that cut could get underneath the soil line. And it's worked really well. It's a little brown, but it's always been brown since it's been squished. And some of the early leaves on the vine are kind of dying. So I'll prune those, but everything else looks really well. Last year, there was a lot of discoloration and there was also a lot of spider mite damage. So I had to spray pretty much every day just to get those under control. But now, not too bad. Uh, it is summer now. <laughs> it's the 22nd of June right now. So it is summer, but it's a beautiful non-humid day. That's why I'm out doing it. And I know it's a corn stock has fallen over, but we're gonna go check out that corn right now. So let's go. There they are, they're the babies. So I think most of these are ready to pick. These are uh, Sun Glow Hybrid Early Glow, Early Glow Sun Glow something. But they're early variety, 63 days, 73 days, whatever. I think it's coming up on the 70 day mark. So last week I was out of town and just a few ears were popping up, a little bit of silk, but now it's been a week. Most of the ears that are gonna form are already formed. These only grow about five feet and one ear per stalk, pretty much. Here's the one that fell over that I saw. But yeah, also these are squash vine borer stricken. All those over there, especially that sad one <laughs> over there. So we're gonna pull those up too. Uh, this one has, I think three vines and that one's pretty much done, but this one looks really nice and you can see a, a big old patty pan. I think I'm gonna uh, harvest it before I go inside and before I pull this up because there aren't any more that are growing. But back to the corn, uh, 126 stalks grew. That's kind of what I do. Uh, I have garden and minutes garden grids in each three of these boxes. And so there's 21 square feet in each, and I put two in each square. So yeah, that comes up to about 126, something like that. That's usually what I do. But I don't think any more pollen is coming out. Yeah, none of the bees are over here, so I think all the pollen's done. I'm gonna go ahead and let the silk dry. Some of them are still kind of wet. And some of them are dried already. I'm hoping that the wind did its thing. Uh, the bees and the birds knocked enough pollen off to where it fell on the corn silks because this crop, I didn't manually pollinate. I usually pick off a tassel, run it across some corn, but we'll see. I also did knock it a little bit uh, with one of the bamboo sticks just to get some pollen down, but hopefully it pollinated. If not, it's fine. <laughs> But that one might be ready. I might pull that one here in a little bit just to check. So we scattered some flower seeds. Most of them are sunflower seeds along our little rock barrier. And it turned into a sunflower flower wall of plants, which is really cool. <laughs> We've never done this before, but I think we're gonna start doing this from now on. Just right up against the rocks. They've grown really well. Super tall. This one is about six and a half feet, maybe just six feet, I don't know. But we also have our sweet potatoes. We had our potatoes here, but already uh, harvested them. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing again, get some more potatoes. But these are sweet potatoes. Ones from last year, just threw them in the ground, they started growing. I need to pull some of the weeds that are growing around. Let's go check out those tomatoes. Just some grandpa peppers that I need to hook up to the irrigation. But here are the tomatoes. This was not doing too well, I think because it doesn't get too much sun. No flowers on there yet and it kind of looks a little dead. Oh, we also scattered some extra corn, but they blew over. That's a dead plant right there. We have some tomatoes growing. I think these are Roma tomatoes, I'm not too sure. My grandpa gave us these. These are part of the grandpa plants. Another one. This is our biggest one and I also found a hornworm the other day. It was fat and huge and nasty looking. I've never seen one before in person. And I think that was the only one. And it was only on this plant. You can see the damage that it clipped off. But there's no damage here on these ones. 
Definitely not that one, doesn't want that one. Let's go check on the peppers and the strawberries. So here are the three strawberry plants. I haven't really gotten a bunch out of them until now. <laughs> the strawberry moon is coming up in a few days. The June full moon, called the strawberry moon because that's usually when strawberries start forming. And these, this is the most strawberries we've had. Uh, this one hasn't grown a bunch. There are some runners that I need to clip, but these two are doing really well. Uh, this is a Fort Laramie, and these are the Sequoia strawberries. This one's doing really well. There's a runner I need to pick. And oh look, here's a little, little bitty watermelon right there. Hey watermelon. Hopefully it got pollinated. Peppers, banana peppers are doing really well. I already harvested a few really big ones. They grow super huge, they're really hot. These are the red Thai chilies, growing really well. These will turn red whenever they're ready. Uh, if you can see in between the pumpkin leaves, <laughs> the mammoth jalapenos, pretty good, pretty good. We'll have some good salsa. And the habaneros, nice and fat. And that's pretty much what's happening with the garden. Uh, I am watching a few plants for a friend uh, for about another month. Just keeping them fed, keeping them watered, make sure the grasshoppers don't get them. Some of the Brussels looks like they're getting kind of chewed up, but we'll keep spraying them every night. The corn, the carrots look like they're ready. The onions are growing really big. Let's go ahead and show you. Onions, carrots, I think the carrots are ready. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull up a few and harvest them, but pretty much now I'm gonna take off the squash vine borer stricken plants, <laughs> let them win, whatever, I don't care, and start getting ready to plant some new stuff. More potatoes, small watermelons, and the pumpkins, they definitely have squash vine borers in them too. They look really healthy though, but whenever they do die, I don't think I'm gonna get any pumpkins from them. I don't know, I'm just saying that, maybe I will. But whenever they do end up dying, we're gonna put watermelons over there too. It's just gonna be a big old watermelon backyard <laughs> and where those tomatoes were next year is going to be another watermelon patch just like this big old one I'm standing in front of but other than that irrigation is going well um, I still need to feed them and fertilize them I'm gonna do that tomorrow um, just hook up the easy flow to the system that's pretty much it like and subscribe um, if you have any suggestions from what you've seen I get some really good feedback from y'all um, it was just how I remember that I had the easy flow because somebody pointed out that I had an easy flow system in the background. <laughs> so if you see anything, have questions about anything, uh, want to see more of a certain plant, like actually follow it, uh, let me know. Instagram, uh, down in the description, on here, whatever. I hope you enjoy your summer. It's going to be a hot one. It's going to be a nice one. Enjoy the rest of your year. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.